Welcome to Anu's classroom. We are here in the course for on information systems for managers and this uh, would most probably be the second last video on this um, what you can say whole series this MMPC 8 series and in this video we'll be talking about artificial intelligence and decision support systems and uh, we will be talking about things like uh, what artificial intelligence is what expert systems are uh, the knowledge based systems and neural networks, genetic algorithms, fuzzy logics and things like that. So by the end of this video, I hope you will have a basic understanding of artificial intelligence and these things. So let's get started. So what is artificial intelligence or a short form as AI? So artificial intelligence is actually intelligence. Okay, that means the perceiving, synthesizing and inter inferring of information as demonstrated by machines. Okay, that's why it is called artificial as opposed to the intelligence which is displayed by animals and humans. According to Konar, AI is defined as the simulation of human intelligence on a machine so as to make the machine efficient to identify and use the right piece of knowledge at a given step of solving a problem. The goals of AI include emulating human behavior or human intelligence, solving problems which require intelligence, developing expert systems or real life problems, enhancing interaction, creating systems which exhibit intelligent behavior, learn new things by itself, demonstrate it, explain it and can even advise or give advices to its users like decision support system. So AI applications include game playing, uh, automated grammar checking like Grammarly, speech recognition, text to speech tools, natural language understanding like your Alexa or Echo or Siri vision systems, expert systems, computer simulated natural processes, mathematical theorem proving, intelligent control, scheduling, planning, astronomy, healthcare, finance, social media, automotive industry, data security, robotics, agriculture, e-commerce and so on. So among the most noteworthy developments in, the, in this field of artificial intelligence or AI is the advent of the expert or knowledge based systems. And the joint efforts by human experts have yielded systems which can diagnose diseases, fly planes, right, autopilots, drive vehicles, self-driving cars, and configure computer systems at performance levels which can exceed the best of human expertise. Expert systems are actually computer programs which use knowledge to solve problems competently and successfully. They are similar to human experts in the sense that they also use logic and heuristics to solve problems and they also therefore make errors and also learn from their errors. This expertise is actually easier to store, retrieve, transfer as well as is cost effective and permanent. In case you like our series and have not yet subscribed, a humble request, please consider subscribing. It will help me reach more people like you and help them more. Coming to neural networks, you might have heard the term neural networks. If not, then here it is. There is something like that also. A neural network is actually a method in this AI which teaches computers to process data in a way that is inspired by the human's nervous system or the human's uh, human brain. Okay, the neural networks in the human brain. It is a type of uh, machine learning process which is called deep learning which uses interconnected nodes or neurons in a layered structure which resembles the human brain. The basic applications of neural networks include investment analysis to predict the movement of stocks, currencies, etc. from previous data, monitoring the state of aircraft engines, improving market mail shots and so on. And fuzzy logic is another important approach used to compute used in computing and it is based on degrees of truth rather than the usual true or false like it's not a one or zero system but it has varying degrees of truth okay like maybe 10 percent truth 20 percent truth like that okay so uh, it is a modern computer based uh, technology it is a technique for representing as well as manipulating uh, uncertain information like washing machines nowadays use uh, fuzzy logic and artificial intelligence. They can sense how heavy a load is and determine the correct amount of water as well as detergent, the speed of agitation, the length of wash cycle and things like that. And uh, there is no single standard actually for this dirty laundry. Fuzzy logic enables the machine's computer to make this in-between decision. It's not like either you give it uh, half the uh, half water or full water or you give it uh, one scoop of detergent or otherwise the next is directly two scoop no sometimes you have to give one scoop and a little more 
maybe it is one and a half scoop maybe it is uh, almost to two scoops right so how it decides is based on this fuzzy logic and uh, this fuzzy logic has or finds a lot of business applications like in matching problems which in matching problems which are an essential operation in speech recognition automated reasoning expert systems it is used in modeling of physical systems uh, it is applied in management of ambiguity of the data by analyzing the knowledge about predecessors to determine the truth value of a proposition it is used for identifying criminals from in in from what you can say precise and inconsistent word description of criminal criminal history it is used in medical diagnostic systems in identifying diseases on the basis of symptoms by calculating fuzzy beliefs and things like that uh, and this genetic algorithm is another thing it is a method for solving constrained as well as unconstrained optimization problems based on natural selection than the processes which derive biological evolution and this genetic algorithm repeatedly modifies a population of individual solutions they also have many business applications like use in intelligent search problems many optimization problems like traveling salesman problem job shop scheduling problems uh, artificial neural networks data mining classification problems and evaluating fitness of other algorithms and things like that so uh, basically you don't have to go i would say in depth into all these things but you need to have an overall understanding of what is what and how it is used that is a basic concept behind or uh, that is a basic aim of this mmpc8 information systems for managers so in case you are finding any topic uh, still a bit difficult let me know in the comment section and i will do my best to clarify your doubts thank you so much for being uh, and sticking around till the end of this video thank you so much for your time as well as attention and i hope to see you all in the next video which would most probably be the last in the series on mmpc8 so catch you there bye bye